Welcome to the V. Lenore Show. Here, we will discuss lifestyle, beauty, celebrity gossip, and current events in our own way, my way, V. Style. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Well, hello, lovers. How are you? Happy Saturday, everybody. It is April 13th. Hope you are having a wonderful afternoon on this beautiful Saturday here in the capital city of Ohio. Okay. It's beautiful here. Um, Hope you guys are doing well and enjoying some good weather. Hey, I wanted to um, just touch base with you guys. I'm sorry. I didn't come out here yesterday. I got caught up. I got caught up on everybody else's commentary. I was enjoying, you know, being a subscriber yesterday (laughs) and time got away from me. (laughs) So I apologize for not coming out here yesterday. Um, today I've been running around like crazy and I still have somewhere I need to be around five 30. So I figured, let me come out here and talk to my people first, since I didn't talk to them yesterday. Okay. So, okay. Hello, poet, poet, poetic diva. Look at me. Hi, poetic diva. I like that. Look at that spelling. Poetic diva 29 is here. Hi, Zen Soul. Hey, GC. How are you? Hey, tell the truth. Hey, El Diva. Samantha Lake, hello. Hey, Dimples Wimples. Hey, Tracy Wilson. Hey, the real VB. Hey, true, true vigor. True, true. Uh, I want to say triv. Ooh, ooh. True. Ooh, I don't know. You're going to have to help me. I need. A proper phonetic spelling. Okay. Show me so I know. Okay. And then I'll I'll, I'll try to remember it. Okay. So sorry for butchering. <laughs> but hello. Hey, April B. Hey, Cynthia A. Hey, DD Star 73. Dennis Byron. Hello. Hello, Dennis Byron. Mm-hmm. I, I have something I want to uh uh pick with you about, but not not out here in front of the people. Mm-hmm. Let me get on you. Hey, Miss Buckeye 99. Girl, you know, it's the, the it's what, what are they call today. Anyway, you know, the Buckeyes are doing a scrimmage. What do they call it? Their spring, whatever they call it. Anyway, honey, they showed the stadium and it's packed. It's packed like it, was, it would be for a regular game. And they just out there playing each other. Okay. Hey, Miss Buckeye 99. Okay, <laughs> that girl repping BK New York. All right. Hey, the real Brown Family Chronicles. Hello. Um, did I get right? Hey, Diva Ray. Yeah. Hey, Juju D. Yes. Blacks, blacks, black snake moan. You know, every time I, I get it eventually, black snake, black snake moan. <laughs> I eventually get it. How are you today, honey? Hi, Shelly C, Cutie Pie 1230, Cindy White. Yes. All right, Bree Peters. Okay, so first thing, uh, first things first, I will not uh, be on camera. As you can tell, I won't. Mm-mm. Nope, I won't. Uh, actually, I've been running errands. I went and got my brows done, my hair cut, because, you know, I'm traveling next week. Mm-hmm. And uh, I need to go get my nails done. You know, I got somewhere else though. I have to be at five thirty, so I'm running around here looking crazy. So I'm not gonna be on camera. Second thing, I am going to eat my Popeye's chicken. Yes, I am because I'm hungry and I have not eaten all day. And uh, I, I came home about thirty minutes ago, 
and said I was going to go live right away, but I had things to do. And so I brought some food home and I'm going to eat it, damn it. And I don't care what you say. Okay. Now I'm going to try to be as courteous as possible, but damn it, if I want to eat my chicken, I'm going to eat it. So just so we're clear. Okay. Um, there's that. Okay. So today, oh, let me say this. I am still committed to us going through that damn interview with Sonia. Okay. So if, if I come back tonight, which is a good chance, I might come back tonight, late tonight, like, like around nine or 10. Okay. If I do that, if I do that, we might dabble in that. Okay. Um, and I think if we take it chunk by chunk, like the other day we did like 38 minutes, it's a two hour, two and a half hour damn uh, interview. So I don't expect we'll do it in one sitting, but, um, yes, Dennis Byron, you heard me. I'm going to eat some damn fried chicken and it's going to be Popeye's at that. Okay. I said, I don't want to hear shit about it and I don't. All right. Whew. Okay. So what was I saying? Okay. So I'm thinking, you know, if I come back tonight, we can dabble and do another 30 minutes of it. You know, this can be like an ongoing thing because I feel like we're going to continue to hear more things and prove that, <laughs> that there are more lies that we're told. Okay. So let's just take our time with that. <laughs> Dennis, tell my please share. <laughs> Um, thank you, LRG. I'm going to eat my damn chicken and I don't care what anybody says about it. All right. Now I will tell y'all this. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, I understand that there, that, that these audiences out here in YouTube can, um, be quite diverse and, um, you don't know what anybody looks like behind these avatars for the most part. And that's fine. But I, I feel strongly that um, this crowd is a predominantly black audience. Okay. All right. Now, if you are not black, you will be privy to certain kitchen table talk, if you will, that we black people might discuss and may make reference to. Okay. Now, let me just make this clear, uh, 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 my white brothers and sisters. Okay. Um, now don't take this information and run with it. Okay. Cause you repeating it might not be as cute as what I'm about to say. Okay. So I need you to just stay in the clouds or stay quiet or just, you know, actually act like you don't even hear what we are talking about. Okay. And don't go around repeating it. Okay. Now listen, Dennis said he ain't black. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, now look, so this is what I'm about to say about this chicken thing, okay? So I am about to eat chicken. Now, I'm not on camera eating it, but I'm still going to eat it. Fried chicken, I'm going to do it. But I will tell you all a secret. I refuse. I refuse. I can't do it. I, I, don't, I don't know how, but I will not ever eat fried chicken or watermelon or even bananas around white people. I don't do it. I don't do it. If I eat, I, this is, this is the truth. I, I love watermelon. <laughs> okay. I love it. I love it so much. Mm, and I mean, it ties as my favorite fruit, you know, strawberries and watermelon. Ooh. I, I don't know who I love more, but I love me some damn watermelon. Okay. I love, I love, damn it. I love me some damn fried ass chicken. Okay. I won't, I love fried chicken. I do. Mm -hmm. It's good. good. It tastes good. Okay. And bananas. Yeah. You know, I don't eat them often. Sometimes I will, but I love me some banana pudding. Banana now later is my favorite flavor. Okay. Banana soft taffy, all of that. Okay. Um, but I will not do not, cannot, will not, won't, don't, 
eat those items in front of white people. If I go out to dinner, I don't give a damn uh, if we go to Popeye's for lunch. Okay. Actually, we're not going to go to Popeye's for lunch because I, I just can't be in Popeye's and I get it. Get, and I'll be damned if, I, if I, I'm in Popeye's and I eat something outside of some fried chicken. So we just wouldn't go. But let's say we were somewhere and they made the best fried chicken there too. I won't get it even though I want it. It's just, it's just a secret. I, I'm just telling y'all. Okay. Um, I, I'm just telling y'all, this is a, it's a hang up. I got, I won't do it. I, I won't do it. Cause they, you know, I never mind. I'm just telling y'all, I don't do it, but here today. Oh yes. I'm going to eat some fried chicken today here with y'all with family. Oh yeah. We're going to eat this chicken. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all a story one day. I've told it out here before, but I'm, I'm going to invite uh, my girlfriend on uh, the show. She is a friend of mine that I met while working on cruise ships. And she was in charge of putting together like a uh, little, <laughs> like little activities for the crew. Right. And she was the, like the, she was like the cruise director for the crew. And so one day she said they have some annual watermelon eating contest and, and she's a black, obviously she's not, obviously she's a black woman. Okay. I was going to say, obviously like y'all can see her, <laughs> um, but she is a black woman. Okay. She, um, um, and, and she was coordinated and she had been on ships longer than me. And she had been on that particular cruise line and ship longer than me. Right. And so she was coordinating, coordinating the event. I said, you cannot, you, you cannot have no watermelon in contest. I, I said, why are you doing that? She said, because it's, they look forward to it. You know, the person who wins gets like, you know, I don't know how much, maybe like $500, something like that. Like they gave her way good prizes and, and money and stuff. But anyway, so I was like, girl, no, I said, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't give a damn. No black people are allowed to enter this fucking contest. I will not allow it. And she was like, what? I said, uh -uh. I said, I want to know who is on the list. As people are signing up, I need to understand who is on this list. Because if any black people are on this list, I will, I'm going directly to them and I'm telling them they cannot be in this contest. I won't allow it. Okay. We must stand together as a culture. We cannot be out here just eating and, and, and doing all this bullshit with, the, with these watermelons, okay? First of all, it was disrespectful to watermelons because these people were eating so much that they end up throwing it up and shit. You know what I'm saying? That it's whoever can eat the most watermelon. It was, it was crazy, y'all, to watch. I was, I was, disgusted. everybody had a bucket. It was a mess. So I said, I'm policing this damn contest. She said, well, if you're going to police the contest, then you should host it. I said, well, if hosting the contest is going to make sure that I can make sure that these black people, I don't give a damn what country you are from. If you have melanin in your skin, you may not enter this damn contest. So yeah, I will host it with, with a bunch of white people or, or other out there doing the damn uh, a contest, but I will not allow not one person to eat a bite. Not one bite of a watermelon out here, but these white, and we are not going to do it. We will, I won't let you do it. No, no, not on my watch. I'll be damned. So anyway, I got to hang up with this y'all. <laughs> it's a hang up. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want to hear no bullshit about how we look. Don't assume just because, you know, I'm black. I want some greens and fried chicken. I mean, I might, I, maybe I do. But don't you assume that. You hear me? White people, don't just assume you know what we going to eat, where we like to eat. What, you know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. So I give them nothing to work with. So I just don't eat fried chicken, bananas, and that delicious watermelon. I won't do it. I just, I ain't going to do it. Period. Now. Back to Nesto, Sonia, and Dion. Okay. And y'all can judge me. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't care. I don't give up. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, so let's get to this. All right. So let's talk about this, this call. I've heard most of it. Um, I had it on while I was doing some other things, so I heard most of it. But this call between Ernesto, Sonia, and Dion, evidently this takes place after Sonia um, called Dion and said something about needing money and Dion saying something about, I know you don't, you, you, he ain't asking me for nothing and he ain't even called me on my birthday. Remember that? Yeah, okay, so I'm nibbling a little bit. I'm gonna wait until I play. Okay, so let me stop. It looks so good on my plate and things. So anyway, y'all remember that? Y'all remember when she told um, um, Ernesto about this call or this engagement, this, you know, this, um, this conversation somehow she had with Dion and Dion said, well, until he called me for my birthday, you know, don't ask me for shit, but pretty much I'm paraphrasing. So anywho, this is the call, I guess, I don't know how many days later, or if it's, I don't think it's the same day because Nesto makes reference to having called, oh, um, um, Dion on his birthday, but Dion didn't answer or some shit. You know, he lying. Yeah. What, what, and, and what's going on with Sonya now? She said, yep, 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 yep. Why is she saying that shit now? Did you hear that? That annoyed me when I heard that shit. Every time I hear him say, yep, 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 yep. You can tell he doesn't have any work. He doesn't know the response or he doesn't know what to say. And he that's filler, right? So anyway, this is the conversation uh, once uh, Ernesto has Sonia call Dion. And then D Dion and he have a conversation or whatever. Um, I have my thoughts a little bit about... Um, one part of this when um, Dion is talking to his dad, but we'll get into that. And then after this, after we hear about what it is that, you know, about this exchange or what have you, and uh, what Sonya shares with Nesto, once we hear all of that, I want you to hear or remind you of the video uh, where she calls Dion all these names. And then that made me remember the, the conversation she and I had. So we'll talk all about that too. Okay. So let me um let this play. Let me go back a bit. Shout out to Shay from phone calls from Princeton, girl. You coming through a gang. All right, here we go. This video contains two calls made on December 12th. And hold on, hold on. Did y'all like this? Did y'all like this damn video? Didn't you? Did you? Did you? Did, did you like this damn video? Okay, make sure you had liked it. it, it, it okay, I'm gonna need you to have liked it, 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 it. Okay, now let's go. And 13th, 2023. This first between Nesto and Dion. Dion says he just wants to talk to his dad on his birthday. Take a listen. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear you? Yeah, birthday guy. Oh, yeah. What's up, yeah? Oh, nigga, I've been calling you on your answer phone. I've been calling you. I know you didn't have to put money on the phone two months ago. What's wrong with you? Keep picking up, hanging up. Uh, it don't matter. I'll be asking the phone. What do you want me to do? You can't follow. I mean, I'll be asking the phone. Okay, hold on. I'll tell you my call. Yes, sir. I've been calling, Claire. No, I call on your birthday. That's a lie. You know Nesto lying. As a matter of fact, well, okay, we'll see. I, he's he's a liar. He knows he didn't call that that boy. And I think if you listen up, they go back and forth about it for a minute. 
and spoiler alert. Okay. They go back and forth about it for a minute here. And then Sonya kind of jumps in, cuts in and says, Hey, okay, just let it go or whatever kind of thing. Right. I believe she did that because she knows too that he didn't call on that day. So anyway, let's listen. I got a call on Tuesday and I got a call on Friday. And get my car on Thursday. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, what you got going on, Phil? What's going on with the show? Hello? Uh, yeah, they got the red. Yeah, we can't talk crazy. You know they already everything going on the goddamn. Yeah, what the hell? If these folks are going to talk about me getting to a red letter, I just almost died. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. you know, I almost died the other day. I'm confused. I can't tell you that. Okay, yeah, tell me that. Go ahead and tell me that. I'm listening. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Somebody hit me in my head. Yeah, I spent the ride six times in the rain the other day on the highway. I lost my life. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't give a damn if they go put that out there. That's what happened to me. You need to know that. You probably would have hit me or probably would not have been talking to me. Okay, you okay? Three times. Hell yeah, no, I'm not okay. I gotta replace my car. <laughs> no, I'm upset. Okay. Well, how's your body? Is your body injured? Hell, yeah, my bed, with my damn back hurt. That shit ain't. I ain't about to be dealing with all that shit. That shit, that, that's the money. That's the problems. I ain't got. I ain't got time for that right now. Did they stay at the scene or did they leave? The they cars, they car total. Um, what they do? Um, high plane. My car has a plane, and they ran into me to get to get their little check on, but it almost kept both of us. Damn. Damn. Now let me say this: Why would Sonya ask him to describe what happened in that? Um, accident like i don't know where he is in this process i mean i know that um anyway the reason why i say that is because again this is a recorded call he's talking about something that's probably still in litigation and and i feel like she's baiting him into saying something so they can use that in the future i like i don't put anything past on you at this point I don't. I think she knows what's what makes sense, what's uh, acceptable a lot of times, and does the opposite in any way. And sometimes I think she. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's listen. Damn. Okay, then, player. Was you wearing your seatbelt? Yeah, he probably had a seatbelt on. He wears it. You see what I mean? Like, why would she ask him that question? He probably wasn't wearing his seatbelt. He probably said that he was. But it's like, why are you asking all these questions to me? And anyway, let's listen. Yeah. He probably had his seatbelt on. You there? Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing it. Oh, man, I'm just, I'm eight. I'm still stressed the fuck out, but I'm going to make it. Yeah, I'm make it. Yeah, that that add on a little stress that you that you uh you almost died and shit. So that's the second time. So guess what? You might got some some angels on you, buddy. Uh, kick and read, uh, you know how it go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when you ever get a chance, uh, Miss Miss, uh, she'll pull up on you and get that that little what you're trying to get from you. You get a chance. Uh. Mm -hmm. She's still wigging out over here. The paperwork. You say it like that. It sounds like I'm picking up something illegal. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying the to stuff that emailed you, I will come and pick it up. Hello? <laughs> yeah. Right. Are you, are you all right, man? I be trying to figure out why the hell y'all be repeating the same shit over and over and over. Well, why don't you start a conversation then? Man, I just be listening. I just be listening. You wanted the birthday call. Here's your birthday call. Well, I'm trying to figure out why we talking about all that other stuff. I'm confused. 
that Dion at least I mean he's genuine you I mean could would I ever talk to my parent the way he talks to his or I mean even when they just just having a casual conversation I can't imagine talking to my parents cussing and all of that talking that and y'all know I can cuss right but I'm never going to cuss in front of my parents. <laughs> that just was never going to happen. Unless I was repeating something somebody said, I'm not cussing about nothing around my parents. It's just disrespectful. But at the same time, Dion and he have a different kind of relationship, right? Um, and he doesn't come across as any kind of real dad, this Nesto person, right? So I feel like, you know, for them, they have their own relationship. It's very casual. They boys or whatever. And I, but I like the fact that he keeps it real with his dad. He doesn't just say what, you know, he wants to hear or, um, or because people are listening or people are around, he doesn't hold back his true feelings. Um, I think he tries to you know, be courteous. Like you can tell his form of being respectful is sort of ignoring um, like he did a couple of calls back that we had talked about when, he, she, you know, she was kind of disrespectful towards him. And he said, you know, tell your people, she, you know, she got by one, two more times. She got two more times, that kind of thing. So I say that to say, I like that even in this call, he's keeping it real. He's telling, you know, he's like, look, we ain't gonna play these games. Y'all already, I know y'all done talk. She done told you what I said. I said what I said. I mean, that's pretty much what he's saying right now. So, but anyway, let's listen. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, hey, listen. Uh, this is I, I asked the same time about that paperwork. I asked guys. I said, can I, I get that money put on that phone? I mean, you can talk. We don't all act like we ain't gonna act like we don't know I've been trying to do all this. I so most of y'all on that phone don't both of y'all ass. Yeah, so because most of y'all know I don't say it, so I'm about it. I don't say it, I can call it the phone for the last month and a half and she has not been answering. So don't everybody cry the phone me today about this paperwork. I said, 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 I I ain't doing nothing to my man Carl is telling me happy birthday and we talked and I had another year around the side. And what I said earlier. You said what? You didn't want to talk to him before you got I said, I said, I wasn't going to talk. Stand up out there, same work. I said, tell my man, give me a call. I know what I said earlier. Yeah, you said you so weren't going to do anything until you're there to call What was she talking about? The same thing. We, me and you discussed that when we get off this call that's getting paid for. Let's talk about what I asked for. It's them two calls about. That's how they conversate. Can't do. We can't go eat for my birthday. We can't go out of town for my birthday. Let's go. That's all I asked for today. That's all I asked for. Let's have a son father conversation. I don't want to talk about none of that court shit. I don't want to talk about no bullshit. That's how they conversation. I ain't mad at you, Dion. I mean, I really ain't mad at him. He's saying he's been trying to reach out for a month, no call back, nobody answering. And now on my birthday, y'all need something now. You coming for me now? Mm-mm. You gonna you gonna come for me and acknowledge my birthday. I'm not 
mad at him. Like, don't call me when you need something. Child, so let's listen. I asked to start the conversation because he's not doing nothing to talk about him. I'm telling you, what I want to talk about because like nobody comprehend that part. So. And here's the other thing: Sonya needs to stay the fuck out of things, and she doesn't need to carry bones back and forth. Like, who tells the person that you care about and love that's in jail all this bullshit that and chaos going on on YouTube or with his son and talking about his wife and talking about his his uh, stepdaughter and you know, he's, she's always carrying bones back and forth. And, and I don't know, sometimes she makes shit worse. So I'm just listening to her. Even now she should shut up and let the, did she call so that these two men could talk or did she call because she wanted a three-way with them on the phone? Like, it's weird. Dion don't like you. Okay. I don't know that she dislikes Dion, but she definitely picks up on that. The fact that he don't like her. And that probably made her dislike him. But I don't think that she, you know, was disliking him before that. But anyway, let's listen. Oh, I got you. Now, now let's talk. Okay, I'm just listening. I'm, listening. I'm just going to listen to what you got to say, sir. This is your turn. What you been doing? Um, I'm okay. I'm trying to make it. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Trying to stay focused and, and, and uh, that's it. I just try to stay focused, man. Fight for my freedom, as you can see. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on here. Hold on here now. Uh, obsessed with the mess. Don't be feeling sorry. Who you feeling bad for? Dion. I hope you feel bad for Dion. I know you don't feel bad for this raggedy nigga in jail. I know it ain't him, is it? <laughs> it's the girl. Please tell me it ain't him. Because if it's him, girl, no, no, no. Don't feel bad for him now. We ain't going to feel bad for him. Oh, okay, Dion. You feel bad for Dion? Okay. Okay. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. All right. Let's listen. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm trying to do. And what are they claiming that I be saying going on out here? I can't pay. They try, they try to get me to do the hot shot thing with them or whatever. He, then he get, try to show me. He, he trying to get an uh, 18 wheeler. I said, well, shit, my dad tried to show me how to drive 18 wheeler 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? It's shit like that. I'm trying to have a conversation with you about. I don't want to talk about that other shit today. I'm trying to talk to you about shit like that because that's what's been going on. Everything that you try to show me. 10, 15 years ago, people are doing it now. Like, I have a couple barbershops out here. You did that a long time ago. I want you to know that you've been ahead of this curve. So, like, you stand down and you be writing your thoughts out the same way you did when they set you down the last time. The other thing that you tried to get me to do back then, people are trying to get me to do now. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Okay. Okay, I get it. Like, I want you to try for, I want you to turn a, 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 a dust bunny into a, 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 let me see, what can I use for that? I'm twisting my words up. <laughs> and I say, you cut the dust bunny to a rose water, they're going to say, you put a dust bunny inside a rose water. Okay. Uh, let me see. Basically, you turn, you turn that thing into something, the old, the old, the beat up thing. You know what I'm saying? How you, the Peter Bell. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They just watch me create nothing and make it content. You get what I'm saying? Uh, no. I was kind of talking to I was breaking down to a guy. He was just talking about, I guess he was on the truck car that he wanted or whatever. And I was explaining to him, like, hey, you know, you can get an old one and you can do this and do that. And I had to catch myself. I'm like, everybody ain't you. Right. Hey, trust in my destiny. You know, here's the thing about Nesto. Trust in my destiny um, wrote, Nesto should have set boundaries with Sonya. She's been left unchecked for far too long. Here's the thing. Part of the problem is Nesto doesn't respect boundaries. So he doesn't respect boundaries. And in some ways, Sonya is speaking Nesto's mind a lot of times. 
Nestle just can't speak it. And sometimes she doesn't realize that he gaslights her. He does. Uh, just like she gaslights him, you know. Um, but for the most part, I feel like she speaks a lot of things. He's very passive aggressive. I'll put it that way. We've seen time and time again how passive aggressive he is. If he's talking to one person, uh, uh, he's got this kind of attitude. He's so happy to see him. Hey, brother. Hey, f best friend. Hey, son. You know, all of that is so nice. He's, he's so loving towards them until he's talking to somebody else about them. He's going he, he's gonna to sneak a jab in. And I just think that... Um, he, he likes her being unchecked on some level because he thinks um, maybe she'll be aggressive on his behalf. I, I That's what I think. Now, she takes that and she doesn't use it properly. Uh, but, you know, that's fine, too, because this nigga deserves everything he gets. OK, whatever hell she takes him through, he deserves it. So we're not going to feel sorry for him. <laughs> that's for Oh, sure. Would you say uh, obsessed with the mess? So Dion is trying to ground him. Mm -hmm. He feels Nesto done lost his mind or himself, but he's really just seeing how or who his dad really is. I agree. I agree. I think he had glimpses of his dad. I think he knows a little bit of things, a little bit about some of the stuff he's into. Um, but yeah, I think he is getting to see the dad that maybe his mama and other people have talked about over the years, but because it's his dad, he didn't quite see it. But yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Let's listen. You hear what I'm saying? Right. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm watching, you know, the Bucky Giants, the, the Godfather, the Father, the Godfather of Harlem. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah, I know you're talking about. Basically. Right. Okay, remember they cut the season out. Right. They stopped. You remember that? I remember that. So they ended up dropping the third season. So it should be a fourth season somewhere else. But anyway, I ended up seeing the third season. I never seen the third season. You seen the third season? I ain't seen the third season. Okay, the third season got they got more of the Malcolm X stuff going on in the third season. Like right up until them off of him and all that. Well, okay. One of the, one of the story is where Bumpy was so ahead of, uh, ahead of his class. You know what I'm saying? And when he went to start to transition, they're like, nobody wanted to see him transition from being the guy that he, he was to the guy he wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. And like, his world just kept crashing on him. And the more he went to fix and stuff, it's been like people, the more people were just turning on him. You know what I'm saying? Honestly. Even Malcolm turned on him. You hear what I'm saying? At a point of time, even Malcolm turned on him because he thought that Malcolm, Malcolm thought that Bumpy was basically on some hate or I can't even say hate and I'm trying to find the right word. Basically, he thought he was no good for him. Not knowing that Bumpy's been saving you. You know what I'm saying? He's been pushing you in the right direction and you just looking at the old character of him versus his new character. If you get what I'm saying. I do. Like they tried to blow up a building in Bumpy. He sent some people to stop that from happening. But the guy, Malcolm X, he was making the scene like, oh, I'm where I don't make it to the, the seats or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Bumpy had to pull a gun out on him to stop him from going. He still was going to go. Long story short, the man would have blew up that day if it weren't for a Bumpy Johnson. I you get what I'm saying? Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I understand. And the more I watched it, and the more I watched it, I said, dang, the, the most, the most of the cricket people in the show was politicians. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? There was the police and the politicians and the most cricket people. And what so let's be clear. So I think, um, so Dion is talking about this show that the, I guess they both watched or whatever. Um, is this the, is he talking about, um, Forrest Whitaker, that, that show? Cause I think that's a bumpy is in that, but anyway, long story short, he's saying how, you know, the, the politicians and the, the, the law enforcement are, you know, very crooked and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. 
and he's he's talking about how people turned on folks when they found themselves in hard times, what have you. He's over here trying to correlate what he saw in that show with his dad and his dad's situation. God bless his soul. Okay. He just trying to, you know, just trying to um believe in his old pops there. Okay. So nevertheless, um, <laughs> I think that he's trying to encourage his dad on some level, even though he he was fussing at him in the beginning. This reminds me of another call they had where he was fussing at his dad at the beginning, but then motivating him on the other side. And so I think that's what he's doing here now, too. He's OK, Bree Peters. That's what I figure. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Harlem, something of Harlem or whatever. Um, but I think that. He's trying to, you know, he beat him up earlier, but he's trying to build him back up and let him know, I'll be thinking about you. I'll be pulling for you. You know, I got your back. Um, but I think, you know, it turns into him saying like, you know, I got your back, but you need to, you know, recognize who got your back. Uh, you know, anywho, we'll listen in a minute. Uh, shall we see? Thank you so much for the super chat. Nesto doesn't care what anyone says as long as at the end they say, I will pay your bond. I know that's right. Or I will put some money on your books or some money on some phone calls. He wants some money. At the end of the day, <laughs> money is the goal. Uh huh. Thank you, Shelly C. What I liked about it was all the folks that had to come back to Bobby. No matter if it was doing good or bad, they still had to come back through him. You know what I'm saying? And they was attacking his wife with everything that 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 um she was trying to do right. You know what I'm saying? She she had non profit organizations. She was doing stuff with the with the black movement. It's just a lot of stuff that she was doing. And they just kept closing doors on her just because who her name was associated with. Out. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. But then when he knows, it's just be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So what you damn about? Like, it, 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 it. Huh? What you damning about? Because that's what you see right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck me when I was just watching. I said, damn. It took me to watch the whole season of watch that unfolded. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, damn, it don't matter how much good a person be trying to do, I'm gonna keep hitting him. You know? Like even like the day he told he told the um what is what did he got? He told the Italian guy, like, you know what, I'm all the way out the way. I'm gonna just let you have it. You can have it, you know what I'm saying? He kind of hurt my back. Not gonna tell him. Oh, I don't want no security. Oh, I don't want nobody searching nobody at the at the auditorium. And with him telling him not to do that, you know what I'm saying? He already knew his, his fate. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He already knew his fate. You know that's what I mean. His fate. He already knew his fate. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that Malcolm already knew his fate, and he knew the direction he was going, and he knew the people was trying to stop that. He knew the direction you going. Take it that pen, but I could tell nobody to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. The lady, must be white. She wrote a book about all that in 2003 or 2006, something like that. She died when she you know, like 93. But that's how we able to watch this show now. And she wrote the book to it. You hear what I'm saying? I understand what's going on. Yeah, I understand first what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, a lot of your shit that, that you that you was on ahead of way ahead of the curve. You, come on, man, come get on this, man. Let me tell you how to do that. And I'm like, man, I ain't trying to do that shit today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't back up in it, man. Like, I'll tell you, come do it. I'll drive it, what is it, six feet or eight feet? I think it's six feet. What is that truck, boy? Eight feet, eight feet. I said, wait, 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 how many, how many I'll gears? Try, I'll try to start you out with a 13, 13, 13 speed. There's 13 gears on that? Yeah, there's some or something easy for you. But the phone, but the phone's yeah. going to get ready to cut off, but I definitely understand what you're saying. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, you did just yes, uh, this was digital age time. It's, it's the same thing. It's just digital age time. You know what right. I'm saying? It's the same right. time. Yeah. So yeah. you see, yeah. you see your, see your folks campaigning, don't you? I ain't saying, I, oh, you talking about these folks? Yeah, they campaign in the best way. Alright, nah, I, I mind my business, man. That shit might pop up on my foot a few seconds and then I get my giggles in and get off that shit, man. I, <laughs> I, I can't sit and watch that shit, man. That shit be right there too much, man. I ain't gonna lie, so it's no folks. Some folks they got nothing to do with their time on their internet, but that's sex shit. And how they be that sex and shit, they be like, what are y'all talking about? Like, they was on there talking about, they, they was recording the conversation. What's wrong if they was recording the damn conversation? <laughs> recording the camera out. You get what I'm saying? I'm confused. Why are y'all making this a whole new topic? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I do understand. Uh, I, do, I understand what's going on, though. Yeah, I understand your conversation. I do understand. Yeah, but I'm like the whole shit is a fucking merry-go-round with the real circus right now. So if a motherfucker don't be the first one that got down to the, the orchestrate the circus, it's going to be more clown shit going. At least, at least, at least, at least, at least the motherfucker who's starring that got the opportunity to, to, to unfold it all. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I understand that that was mentioned. And let's be clear here. Hello to everybody coming into the room. Please, please, please hit the like button if you wouldn't mind. I'd really appreciate it. You know, what Nesto is doing right now is finessing. He isn't saying much. He's not interested at all in what Dion is saying. I think there's a part of him that feels, uh, and you'll hear that towards the end of the call, where he at least seems to feel like, oh, okay, so he was thinking about me when he saw this in this show. The things that Dion is saying is, is to encourage, I think, on some level, encourages that. And let him know, you know, you're going through a hard time now, or people, you know, turning away from you now, or... um uh, no matter how people try to distance themselves from you, they still end up having to come back through you. You know, that's what he was talking about, Bumpy and what have you. Um, <clears throat> so I think what what Nesto is doing is because he knows that Dion is pissed, right? And was pissed that he missed his birthday and didn't call for his birthday and all of that bullshit that... Um, he knows he's trying to make good with him now. So that's why he's not saying anything. He's being very quiet. Um, and he knows that that makes Dion feel heard. And so that's what he's doing. He don't, he ain't listening, really. He's just sitting back, being quiet, waiting for his opportunity. He knows this is like just something he has to do right now so that he can eventually get what it is he wants out of his son. You know, he's he's. Ugh. he's yucky like at the end of the day he's scamming his son right now <laughs> you know um his son is dropping seeds and telling him how he's hurt you know in so many words uh, that he missed his birthday um he lies and says i did call you on your birthday you know sonya tries to get him out of that one but at the end of the day he knows right now he's got to make good on on uh on the fact that he hasn't been in touch with Dion. Because everything is based based off hearsay, he say, she say, he say, them say. You know, so hey, it's at that point. So you know. You know, you you the only person that really know what's going on is you. Mm -hmm. Don't nobody know what the hell really going on but you. True. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If only Sonya would remember that. If only Sonya would understand that as well. None of us knows exactly what the hell's been going on. But one thing is for sure is that 
Nesto is the only one who really knows what's going on because he don't tell the truth, the whole truth to anybody. I want everybody to build. Everybody that get on this call is a Facts, I said what I said. That's exactly it. Dion is saying, maybe you guilty, maybe you ain't guilty, basically. Like, don't nobody know but you. Uh-oh. Here we go. up something here hold on i touched it and we moved past where we were hold on let me see if this is where we were you know how i feel bad how are you boy hold on let me go back does not give a damn about what this boy is talking about <laughs> okay lord have mercy hi poetic diva miss v love your commentary just added you to p oh thank you to pam esquire 
Real talk, bougie, grown woman vibes, uh, phone calls from prison. Oh, H H E. Who's H H? Oh, wait a minute. H H E, my favorites. Thank you so much. Who's H H E, y'all? Poetic Diva, put H H E's name in the in the in the um in the chat. But thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. And thank you so much for the super chat. I really, really appreciate it. So let's listen. Oh, man, because yeah, one thing about it, most, most, of the, most of the people, them, they just gave me that, that clarification last week. Just, uh, oh, 24 hours? Oh. That's it. That's all, Tracy Wilson. He can't wait for this boy to get done talking about this bullshit so he can um, ask for what he wants. And then I think he, he realized that he's trying to figure out, should I ask or maybe this is the price I paid this call. Maybe I just have to call back. You know what I mean? Oh, Hip Hop Inquirer. Okay. Yes. okay. Thank you so much. Samantha Lake, thank you for putting that in there. And Poetic Diva, thank you so much um, that you would add me to that prestigious list. I appreciate it. 24 hours? Oh, it was this. Oh, it was that. But yeah, 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 yeah. Just giving me my confirmation. All I'm gonna tell you was crazy. I'm watching the news, right? I'm just you listening. Yeah. You know they, you know where they put the uh, what is, they they not shot down and put the high rises at. Yeah. Man, why three people just got killed over there? You talking about them three boys over there? Was just four little guys were shooting. Yeah. Right there. That's the address. I heard that shit. Three zero five zero five. I heard it, but I was confused like a motherfucker. Okay, so when I first heard this, um, I I mean I didn't see any real interest in that, and them talking about this location or whatever. But then I happen to be over at Real Talk Bougies, over up in her clouds. I probably started listening to her maybe right before this came on. I didn't know what that address was. Well, she looked up the address. And so the address, shout out to Real Talk Bougie. Hey, friend. Um, she, she looked it up and it happens to be the old location for Nesto's Barbershop. So I guess where Nesto's Barbershop was isn't there anymore. It's now an apartment building or something like that. And so evidently um, something happened. Something went down over there. It was a whole shootout. Um, supposedly, I guess, uh, was that where they said it was a drug deal gone bad or something? So to hear that in the news and to hear that address and then and to find out, you know, oh, this, that was my old address for Nesto. So anyway, that's what they're talking about. Hold on. Yeah. That's it right there. Wow. That's crazy, right? And that boy now is talking about he's down to you, he's been staying there two years. That shit ain't been out no two years. Yep. Yeah, that's it. 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 Why? He said he's been there how long? Damn, damn, you know what I have? I'll be here. Two years. Damn. 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 I had a couple of things to tell you. I just can't remember all the dribble. And make sure you can you meet her and, and put some money in her hand so she can put this shit on the phone so I can talk to you. Hey, man. I'm trying to hurt. So basically, here goes a little dry bag. Yeah, you know. Oh, put some money. Give this, you know, give old girl some money to put on this phone here so we can be talking. You know, get my girl the money or whatever <laughs> so we can talk. He wants the money, okay? He wants money. He wants it any kind of way, as much as he can get from whoever he can get it from. But this is what he's working on. This call won't be successful unless he can get a dime or two out of his son, okay? 
but let's listen. Let me say. All right. Okay. I'm going to read right now, though. I'm going to have to figure that out. You're going to have to figure that out. Man, my shit's so up. Okay. Lost well, my car. I just got an accident. Okay. Somebody hit my folks in the lane the other day. Why they stand still? Okay. That's how my life going right now. <laughs> hey, well, good life, good life, brother. And you ain't in here, so that's a blessing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I said now, that's what I see all the time. Well, it it looks way different. You said now, you don't believe it. It looks real bossy. Well, look here. I'll be trying not to go off on your motherfucking ass. I'll be trying, boy. We, but get what? I'm locked up, and I can't get mad at everybody. But in my brain right now, man, I'm supposed to get way more royalty than this right here. Way off, man, I was shit on the <laughs> GC, hold on. Hey, GC, thank you so much for the super chat. I don't know if anyone caught he threw shade at Sonya when he said they had their phone out recording, talking about others' record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Thanks, GC. Hey man, I ain't like I be feeling man. Yeah. You know just you know just vlogging there when I be feeling like that. Hey man, you gonna be alright? You gonna be alright? <laughs> well, I'll be right though, but I, I but this ain't that's a situation though. This ain't this nah, You gonna be scared. Hey man, you gonna be alright, bro? You gonna be alright? Yeah, this it ain't it ain't feeling like it right now, bro. Yeah. I wonder how many times uh, uh, Nestor said that to his son when his son was in need for something or his son was like, he said, upset, concerned about something. And Nestor's words were, oh, you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. I wonder if that you can, you going to be all right was followed up with any sort of actionable uh, support that's tangible to his child. I just wonder, I doubt it. But it's just a thought. Yeah, you're going to be all right. So that's why Dion's throwing that back on his ass. Yeah, player, you're going to be all right, player. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, don't feel like it. everyone from my folks right here, boy, I'll be goddamn dead in the water, boy. I'll be pushing on the borderline. I ain't going to lie. I'm saying same shit, man. I'll tell you all this shit way for now. I said, hey, man. Nesto has no empathy. He only thinks of himself. He's a narcissist in true form. Just to be real, shit. Hey, man. Just to be all the way with her. You know, when, when it's time to call me, it's time to call me to go be straightforward with somebody. That was you set it up for. You set it up for me to go through that my password to know how to set it up that way. You set it up. But when I get the call to go handle the business, that what you set it up. Hey, you ain't set it up to read no books to you. You ain't set it up that way. You set the people up to do that. How you set it up? Now, if I had some money, it'd be nothing to talk about. You'd be having what you need to have. Ain't no man circulating my way right now. Other than that, that's the two things that I'm set for. You got to understand that. When you're sending that four by four, you got to understand who you put on your chest for and what they for. Straight up. 
Now, you're the person that told me don't be running around here letting these niggas ride in no car with me. You're the person that don't have all these people around the dang beneficial. Where your beneficiaries at? Mm. You gotta sit back and realize what you don't preach now. No, this is true. This but you can't true. say, you can't talk about the consent that like King Cut and you ain't got two people that you talk to on a daily. Oh, he's kicking knowledge. He's throwing his own shit back on his daddy. He's saying, Daddy, you told me this, you told me that. You know, <laughs> who are your beneficiaries? He said, Who are you talking to on a daily outside of this side hand? That's really what he's getting at. You're talking to her. We don't even know her. You don't know her. This is a random, but. You ain't talking to us. You ain't talking to the people who got your back. You ain't talking to the people who's supposed to be your family, your blood, your, you know, business partner, colleague, best friend. You ain't talking to us on the daily, but you talking to her on the daily. You better watch who you got around you. Now you talk to 10, 15 people. If, if you're supposed to be this big old, this, this nigga with the, with the Rico, they got organized crimes on, you'll be talking to way more people than you talk to. Absolutely. Mm. I was just saying. I was saying, it's to the point, nigga, my birthday just was here. I tell me to think of five people and I want to kick it with. Because I don't do the club no more. So, yeah, same thing, different person. So, I get it. You do want to be sitting in a certain way because the things you have done. But the things you have done, man, you need to beat it out. The kindness of your heart, it was a chess move, man. So you got to get deal with it. This is true. This is true. <laughs> now, if, if, you know, these days, I, I, I don't find it kind of the realization. You just got to tell a person why you're doing shit now. Hey, man, I'm going to do this for you. And then, hey, the fight is, I need you to do that. You have one minute remaining. I know. Uh, Ness is so happy. Uh, very much. Nesto happy he heard that one minute. He tired of listening to these lectures and about everything and ain't got shit to do with him because you know it's all about Nesto. We did not call you to talk about you, son. We called over here so you could get over your little hissy fit about me not calling on your damn birthday so that you can give me what I need. Damn it. Now you did all this damn talking and you waited till the minute to stop talking. Okay. Oh, you know what I just said? Y'all heard you. I'm not saying shit. Love you, brother. Thank you. He oh, said the daddy for real. Did you hear? Now you heard what I said. <laughs> did you hear anything I said? Are you? Did you heard me? Did you? Now, now look. Don't make me have to tell you this again. <laughs> That's what that sound like. All right, love, love. Thank you for using Global Telling. This next call was made the following day. Okay. Sonia had just ended a live stream on YouTube. You will hear that Sonia sent a message to someone. To me, it sounds like this person is Dion, and he responded back with his opinion of her. One of Sonia's friends also joins the call. Take a listen. What up? What up? What up? Mm -mm. You sound like you hiked up. Next. Nah. You read my text. Yeah, I did. So we ain't got to worry about that nothing no more. That's handle. Handle it. Huh? Handle it. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, you you handle it. I mean, you know, it's just what it is. Time to move on. They didn't. They probably didn't respond. <laughs> I told you what. Yeah, what they said about Dion right now and he's saying yeah we ain't got to worry about them people no more da, da, da. see again even even I don't know what he means by what he's saying but he's being dismissive of his son in, in, in saying it let's go back he's being dismissive of Dion by saying um you hold on one second when he's saying, you know, you don't have to worry about them no more. Uh, uh, that's handled or whatever. 
just move on or whatever. He's talking, he's being dismissive to this side hen. She ain't his mama, his stepmama, his auntie, his sister, his cousin, ain't even a damn friend. But he's again letting Sonya, excuse me, and she's about to be inappropriate because that's what Sonya does. And he sits there and he allows it. Now he's being dismissive. Oh, we ain't got work, you know, don't worry about them people. Them people is your, your son. Like, it's weird to me. But let's listen. What he said. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, said all that shit out of his mouth, you know. Oh, yeah, that was yesterday. From yesterday. No, today. Yeah, so she talking. So he thought. Okay, so here's the other thing. Let me let me say this too because that just reminded me. I was gonna say this during the the um, the last video just now, but forgot to do so because <laughs> I was like, let me wait for a good natural breaking point. But what I was gonna say is this: it's so hard. I have to listen to the calls more than once when Dion and his dad get to talking. Now his Dion can I don't know. The, they both have that mush mouth thing going on, okay? It's almost as if they're speaking their own language. It's almost as if nobody can fully understand them but one another. It's almost as if he doesn't have to even complete a sentence or even a word and his dad understands what he's talking about and vice versa. So I'm glad, you know, I almost had to hear this a couple times. Uh, and I was going to mention it, that it sounded like they are talking their own freaking language. You know, it's hard to keep up with everything. So what he just said reminded me of that, because just now he thinks Sonya is over here saying, yeah, let me tell you what he said, all that shit he was saying. And Nessa is like, yeah, that was yesterday when, when we was on the phone. But see, when they was on the phone in this last call, Dion said a whole lot of shit, but I don't know that Sonya caught it. You know what I mean? Like he was talking to his dad. They were talking to each other. She, he's, he's talking about Sonya in front of Sonya. And you know, her mouth is real slick. So my thought is she didn't catch it. She didn't know he was talking about her. Not really. Because she could, yeah, kind of like Pig Latin, uh, right? That's what I was thinking. Like when they talk or like broken, have you, you've heard uh, people from Jamaica or a lot of the islands, the Caribbean islands, when they are talking to one another, that broken English, it sounds like a whole nother language to me. Like I literally can't understand it. it I, I mean, I, it's amazing to me when I hear, you know, folks from the, from the Caribbean speaking to one another and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can barely follow right so that's what it's like talking to them and i feel like sonya experienced the same thing while talking <laughs> while listening to them because dion was giving her the business and she didn't realize it but right now he's like saying oh yeah you mean yesterday because that call was yesterday you mean yesterday yeah that was yesterday and she's like no 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 i'm talking about today i'm talking about today so let's listen I, I didn't get that. I didn't get that part. Hold on, you might not have got that yet. Uh, let me see. Let me see if you got that yet. Okay, thank you. Oh, it's pending. Okay, all right. So yeah, he sent the audio responding saying, "I'm on the phone talking to a married man. He don't trust me and called me a bitch." Who said that? That's what he said. That's, that, that, that's what he said. He nah, sent me an audio. This is what it's pending. It didn't came through yet. He sent me an audio response saying, I'm on the phone talking to Mary Ann. She don't trust me. And then he called me a bitch. Well. That's what he said? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And I, yep. And I, I, I was oh, my God. Did, did you hear that? There it is. Yep, okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, what you got going on, Phil? What's going on with you? Hold on, wait a minute. I just hit. Hello? I wanted to go back, but not that far back. Hold on. Okay, I got to replace my car. <laughs> oh, shoot. I done went all the way. Hold on, y'all. Saying I'm on the phone talking to a married man. He don't trust me and called me a bitch. Uh-huh. Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? 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 Who said
Who said that? 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 Who said that, Nesto? <laughs> Nesto said, who said, who said that? Your son. Your son has said that. <laughs> Your son has said it, homie. Your son said it, sir. Your son said he don't trust her. She be on the phone with married men's. Okay? He don't trust her. And she's a bitch. That's what he has said. Okay? Oh, Cynthia A said, where's the lie? <laughs> Who said that? Okay. No lies detected, the people say. The verdict is out. Okay. They say it's all true, Sonia. They say it's all true. They say, A, you do be on the phone with married men. Sis. Okay. They say that people don't trust you, ma'am. Okay. And they say you're a bitch. Now, I it's all subjective, you know, Sonia. So I can't t deny somebody else their truth. And in their truth, you is a bitch. Okay. They don't trust you and you be on these phones with these married bitches. That's what they have said, girl. Okay. So let's listen. <laughs> that, that's what he said. He sent me an audio. This is what it's pending. It didn't change through yet. He sent me an audio. Response. And that's the thing about it. He didn't just type the shit. He wanted you to hear it from his chest. Do you understand me? <laughs> he said the shit with his chest. Okay. And he put it out here so you could hear it. And he know you heard it because it disappears after you hear it. Okay. And it did. He knows what you heard. He that's all he just wanted you to hear it and understand what he has said. Okay, GC, thank you for the super chat. Dion has spoken. Okay, mic drop hoes. Okay, he said, you be on the phone with these married men's. Okay, that's the first thing. You stay on the phone with these married men. Mm -hmm. Can't trust you. Okay, that's what... Can't trust you. That's what he said. And uh, uh, use a bitch. Now, I can't, like I said, that is a subjective point of view. If that man says you're a bitch to him, you're a bitch to him. Okay? Now, I'm not going to get in the way of a man and his opinion. That is his opinion. It is his right. Okay? He has rights. Okay? So we just wanted to make that clear, but let's listen further. Okay. I'm on the phone talking to married men. Yeah. He don't trust me and well, he called me a bitch. Yeah. Is that what he said? Yep. 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 And here we go with the yep, 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 that shit gets on my nerves. I hate that. And yep. I put, and I, I responded with LOL. <laughs> oh, and God. left it alone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's what they said you with? Mm -hmm. And he put it on something that disappeared because I was going to record it and play it for you. But it disappears. Once you hear it, it disappears. Mm -hmm. So you can't. You can't, you know, save it. It disappears after you play it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> All right. But you know what? George Peach said, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Nesto is the merry man. I'm sure she knows. She knows. And he sees her ass. And he basically just told her. And he wanted to make sure you got you got the message she want, he wanted to tell you from his chest. Yeah. Now I don't know why he put it in the deleting uh the disappearing thing, but hey, he did. But she got that message now, didn't she? Interesting. That don't even sound like him. That sound like a girl or something. 
Thank you. Well, here, here's the other thing. So, uh, Miss Walker, hi, Miss Walker says, why she didn't say the name? Because they don't talk names out here. You know, they be trying not to say names. They kill me with that. I wish they would just say the shit. What's the difference? If you're going to talk about them and we're going to know who you're talking about, he knows who you're talking about, just say the damn name. If you're bad enough to talk about it, just talk about them. Oh. No, straight up, that don't even sound like... No, no, it was his voice. It was him. It was him. He said it. <laughs> he said it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So that must have been after you did. Right after the text. It was right after the text that I sent you. That's exactly what I, I, that's, I copied and pasted and sent it to you. Exactly what I said to him. I sent it to you. <laughs> I sent okay. you exactly word for word what I said. Mm -hmm. I sent, I just copied and pasted. It so you knew exactly. I was trying to, oh no, she didn't say that. She said this. Nope. I sent you exactly what I said. Mm -hmm. I sent it to you. Word for word. The exact same okay. text. Okay. And that was the response. And and that's not off with, I don't care if you get mad, you know? Oh. Get mad, I'm going to say this, because in the end, if when you do stuff like that, and then, you know, everything go like you need to go, and then you get out, oh, hey, no, because you, you know, so either you're going to step up. So that's what I text you after I text you that. I say, you're going to step up or you're going to step back, mm -hmm. you know? Wow. It is what it is. But yeah, that's what I, I thought that that's what he said. I know you ain't surprised because I ain't surprised. That just sounds like a girl to me, about, but that, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Oh, comment. here's the thing. You hear how he's saying that just sounds like a girl to me. Well, see, this is where this dumb bullshit comes from. And she said, she turns around and says, oh, no, it was him. It was him. But I think he was alluding like that sounds like some bitch shit. Like that sound like some shit a bitch would say or do. That's what he's, that's what I hear him saying. Not that somebody else typed it for him. I think he's calling his son a bitch and then he's turned around and that's why his woman feels like she can call him a damn bitch too. Now, I don't see it no other way, but that's the way every time I hear this, that's what I hear him saying. But we'll let it play. Okay. At all. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why would they go hard on somebody trying to help somebody. Exactly. So here's the thing. So, and now, he, now you are acting like you siding with this heifer over your son. Everybody can see this. You're the whole scammer. But this woman has, has gotten so close and been able to finesse your ass to the point where you don't even see where she conning you too. Like she's conned you to get to this this space she's in. Because if you thought she was a woman of means, if you thought she had a lot going on, if you thought she, she had, she was business minded or that she really knows the law and all, she hasn't proven any of it. She has proven none of it. And everything she has said, the opposite has happened. Everything she has claimed to know for a fact has turned out to be a fucking lie or sham. Okay. So she has it. She doesn't have money like she made you think she did. Uh, um, uh, she doesn't have it going on and, and, and has all these connections. If, even if she does, if she has connections, God bless her, but she's not even using those connections for herself. Every time we turn around, she is talking about she's going to start this business. Now, this business, I'm meeting with this investor. What is your track record that would make someone want to go in business with you, ma'am? And every time she says that nothing comes to pass, not Nathan, not a damn thing. Nothing, nothing. OK, ain't nothing going on over there. OK, so I don't know why he's still standing ending with her when he has his son here and even Andre has questioned this girl at this point she wh where she come from I mean in their eyes it's like where does he come from I mean, she's so in the mix and she done, she's become the wedge between you and your wife you and now your family you and your friends she don't like nobody your brother your bestie your son your wife your wife's kid, these, half these people she ain't never even talked to, 
okay? But she don't like them. It's it's really ridiculous. Okay, let me get out my soapbox because I got to be out of here uh, in a minute. So, so hold on. Please, exactly. And gotta make it in because I'm doing, I'm doing. That's why I said all of that. I'm doing. It's like it's sad that I'm the only one, and I'm taking all this. Right. So it's like, but that's your response. You get me. Right. You get me. That's okay. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna pan in the wind. Uh, it's moving on. That shit finna move on. It, it, I done made my mind. I woke up this morning with that. Well, I didn't wake up. I thought about right. it last night. Yeah. Well. So. That's just what people try to say when they can't own on their shit. That's all it is. That's not owning their shit. So you saw that. You got mad. And, you know, even though I asked you to help a couple of times, you know, and you just keep deflecting and talk about what you got going on and, oh, what about me? And I'm sitting there like, oh, my God, are you serious? What about you? What the hell? Okay. I'm, per- I'm pretty sure you heard that before because you told me huh? I'm pretty sure you heard that from other people before. I don't deal with people. No, in your lifetime, you have. So, hmm? yeah, you know, I don't people whine. You know, people whine. Oh, honey. Um, no, I don't deal with people. <laughs> I deal with my siblings. That's it. Uh, that's it. And 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 we're not built like that. So we don't. No, here's the thing. You don't deal with people. You ain't got no friends. If that's the only friend you got. You really got buddy buddy with the Carl Thomas baby mama lady. You, you sat up in that in that interview. I didn't even watch the whole thing. I couldn't. I mean, it's just something's not very interesting in and of herself. Like if she just comes on live, she's not interesting. She really does have to be talking to someone and someone either leading that conversation or trying to pull something out of her. Uh, the ba- even though she'll do most of the talking, no doubt. She almost needs that or else she's not interesting. So um, I didn't watch a lot of that interview, but the fact that she had the girl, like, I don't know. It felt like she was almost, I, I didn't know initially I turned it on that that girl wasn't her friend. When I realized, oh, that's the Carl Thomas girl. I didn't realize she knew that girl before. And then come to find out she didn't know her before she met her that day or the day of the interview or whatever the case was. And now they friends and now they done fell out. Like it's weird. We saw you and instantly you come across like this your friend. Okay. And now y'all done fell out. Sonia, there's a problem if everybody's falling out with you, Sonia. If you can only hang with your siblings, something is going on with you. Period. Yeah, there's a lot of crappy people out here, and you seem to find them all, or they find you. However it goes, I don't know. But the bottom line is, ma'am, something is wrong when you cannot have a girlfriend or a couple of friends, not just dudes, girlfriends, and not dudes you've slept with or will sleep with or thinking about sleeping with, none of that. Girl, something's going on with you, and you too old for this bullshit. Okay, let me let this play. So, you know, they be on some other shit, but not that type of shit, you get me? But no, I don't. Um, that's that generation, huh? That's not oh, our go. generation. We different. I don't deal with that generation, but other than my kids, I guess. Yeah. I, I, I understand. Yeah. So uh, I mean, that's no, 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 no. You know, no. no. She don't like drama. She when you, when I said to her, she keeps up drama. She said she don't like drama, Pamela. She said she don't she don't do drama. Okay, we'll talk about that again. Um, but yeah, she says she don't do drama, but she does keep it up, doesn't she? She sure does attract it. She sure does attract it. She's w- wherever the drama is, she there. Okay. Um, I don't think he would have fell out with any of these people. And, I, and not to say he's fallen out with anybody outside of his wife, but he wouldn't have had any of these little moments of friction with any of his people, if it were not for Sonia. If Sonia was not in this picture, Shirley would still be in the picture, more than likely. Now, with that said, is this more of a blessing in disguise? Yeah, probably for Shirley that that Sonia came around. If the, if If what Sylvia is saying is true on any level about 
Sonia being a blessing coming into Ernesto's life, it ain't for Ernesto. It was for everybody around Ernesto to see Ernesto clearer. You, let me say that one more time. The blessing was not Sonia coming into Ernesto's life for Ernesto to benefit. The blessing was Sonia coming into Ernesto's life to show the people around him who the fuck Ernesto is when he's not talking to them. What she did was she was able to shine a brighter light on this Negro. And so with that said, my apologies to Sylvia, because Sylvia, you are correct, my love. You are so correct. God did send this woman to Ernesto to bless the people around them with good 2020 eyesight. That's what that was about. Okay. That's what that was about. And the faster you get to, to know that, the better, the better. Sylvia, when you see that, the better. See, you coming over there shows us a lot about you. Okay. Uh, I don't know how you benefit in any other way, but you showed us you. Any any way in which people doubt it or or second guess or question your your intentions or or whatever the hell it is you had for uh, R. Kelly. Now we see that it wasn't an isolated incident where R. Kelly is concerned. You like the deviants. You like the deviants. So you you have shined the light on yourself by getting involved with Ernesto. Sonia has shined the light on Ernesto to the people in his life. Dre, Dion, Shirley, and possibly Lamont. Possibly Lamont. If Lamont hasn't said something already, he will. Some shit, because she don't respect Lamont at all. She don't, she don't really like Lamont. That I can tell you, but let's listen. Let me stop talking. Let's listen. You know what I'm saying? There's one more thing to the back, you know, to, um, oh. And thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, we all have tea. Thank you. You said, say it again, girl. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. I didn't read the whole chat, but yeah, that's what was said. Okay, oh. I, I wish you a job today. My life, I did a live today. Oh, anyway, okay. Thomas Thomas, hi, thank you so much for the super chat. You said this entire exposure was a blessing for Shirley. It was a blessing for Shirley. It was. And you know what else? You know who else it blessed? It blessed all of us bloggers, okay? Because if it was not for time. I don't think we'd still be listening. Not too much. Because see, Shirley and he, they didn't give us a whole lot, you know, as far as bullshit was concerned. Um, the, I think the the most she gave was, you know, A, when she was done with him. That That's the highlight. That's the biggest moment. Um, uh, that was great. And when he called back and she had to check him again, that was awesome. I, I consider all of that one occurrence, okay? Um, the rest of them, I mean, even though the 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 calls are recorded, you know, they say a little bit, but they don't say a whole lot. A lot of these niggas, they've been in and out of jail. They know these calls are recorded, so they don't talk about, Ernesto don't talk about very specific shit. He let Sonya do the dumb shit. He let Sonya say it. You see what I mean? But I don't think that if Sonya hadn't been out here kicking up all this dirt every damn where, we turn around. If it wasn't for her, we probably would not be doing as much content as we do on these people. Okay. Because the rest of them, they were acting like they had good sense until she got in the mix. <laughs> and when I say good sense, I don't mean they don't be on some F F S. Okay. I'm not saying that I'm saying, you know, at least to one another, they came across as somewhat loyal. Um, but anywho, let's listen. Oh, wait. Vic to the veil. Vicky veil. Says Sonya thinks she can charm and finesse all the men. That's it. But they all showing her in his camp. She can't do it. I think Lamont toyed with her a little bit. 
but um, the rest of these niggas ain't they ain't interested, okay? But Vic to the Veil, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Okay, let's listen. Oh, it went well. It was kind of tough because they was going in. You know, and in the course, you got people that are just so he knows your channel. Uh, he knows everything. Y'all just don't get all the calls. How about that? And why does he need to know about my channel? You know? And he just kept trying to do the uh the whole, you know. Please hit the like. For the, um, he kept asking me dumb questions about. Um, oh, Lord. Uh, hey, Thomas, Thomas, what you say? Um, thank you again for the super chat. Sylvia didn't mean to be correct. She fell in the scripture where it says what the enemy means for evil. God turns it around for good. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. People, you know, can take scripture all out of context all day just to make it uh, uh, fit their their junk that they're trying to sell. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, thank you so much, Thomas Thomas. Let me, I'm going to stop this right here for now because y'all, I'm short on time. I will come back though. Uh, it won't be in probably till around nine. And I know a lot of time for a lot of folks, um, sometimes people do come back around that time. I hate that because I really like to enjoy these other content creators. But um, because I have to be somewhere around 530 and I'm, it's 5.08, I want to play something and I'll come back because right now we are at the, um, Eh. this is the 35 minute mark of this 51 minute video. So I'm going to leave this up um, in my background so that when I come back tonight, I'm going to finish it up. But before I go, I want to play. Um, I want to play this other clip real quick, y'all, and we can revisit it um, again. Child. I, I don't know what was going on with old girl this day. Cause when I tell you, she don't look good. She don't look good at all. Okay. She does not look good. Y'all see that. She, excuse me. Sonya looked the oldest I've ever seen her. She looked run down. I don't know what the hell was going on this day, but this was so unattractive. Okay. This is very, look, I want to make it big. Do y'all see what I see? Do you see what I see? Bags, bags, all up under your eyes, and I don't know what you can do. Okay, anyway, let me stop playing. Uh, <laughs> um, look at her face. This is not good, but listen to this little this little piece right here, y'all. Listen. Well, I don't know. I can't tell. I can't oh, and let me say this. This call was on 12-29. Um, and let me go back. What day was that other one on? Hold on. Let me um stop sharing for a second. What day? Was this the 29th? What day was that? Okay, that was the 13th. So the one we just listened to was on the 13th. But I want you to hear what she says right here about Dion. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Thought I was sharing. Okay, here we go. And it looked like she was like anything, anything. You get me? Yeah, like that's her. true. This is true. But hey, uh, what's your smiling for? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, this is like it. Yeah, I'm gonna hang in now. I'm gonna Listen, hang in now. Real quick, Hurry we up. can't talk about this. I'm Hold on. Is that a wig? Like, it doesn't look right. And then, what's all this? See, for her not to have any real edges. What is? Oh, let's just listen. Shit, I can't. Your son. I can't believe that shit. Oh, with his little wussy butt. What? You know what? Hey. Just forgive him, move forward, because guess what? He don't even know what's coming his way. So I'm not giving you nothing till he called me and say happy birthday to me. Man, that's some kid stuff. This is man's life. Hey, you play. So now he talking shit about it all after the fact. Because see, they've already addressed this 
a week or so before this video came out. This is 12 29 23. But the video we just saw, oh, wait a minute, it was two part two videos, right? Hold on, let me, I, I'll get the date. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Bottom line is this call takes place after the other shit. Now listen to how he's like talking about his son with her. And this is why she feels like she can do this shit. But listen. In games and you 30 something years old acting like you a toddler. Talking about he need to call me and say happy. I almost died and in a car accident. Were you hospitalized? No. But then how did you almost die? Because your car got <laughs> You got up and walked away. How did you yeah. almost die? I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. That, that's a drama queen. I almost died. My car got totaled. That doesn't mean you wow. can get in a fender bender and die in a fender bender. It's not about the, the severity of the car. It's what did it do to your body? Did you break something? Were you hospitalized? Did, did they life flight you out of there? No, you walked away, right? So how did you almost die? Yeah. Wait. Tanya, do you don't pay that stuff no attention. That, that Tanya, you do understand that there are people who come close to death, cars flipping over on top of each other, cars flipping out down cliffs and shit, and people end up somehow, by the grace of God, they get out and they walk away. Sometimes they have a scratch. Sometimes they have maybe a, a, a minor injury and sometimes they don't have anything. And that's when you know it's God. It does not mean that the man didn't almost die. So we're not going to, oh, she's an ignorant something or another. Lord. That, that, that's, that's, don't pay it. They're not the man. That, you got to look, the... look and see, you know, sometimes when the, when the sibling is and you got a little of that in you, but you ain't all the way there. But you yeah. got... Ooh, Thomas, Thomas, I want you to stop preaching in this chat now. You're going to have to stop preaching in the chat because it's too much. He's Thomas Thomas said, don't look as she's getting rest. However, Isaiah 57, 20 to 21 says there's no rest for the wicked. Ooh, -wee. that's a read that is shade. And that is the word. Yeah. A bit of that. Yeah. Fathers. <laughs> Fathers are so important. <laughs> That's what I was like. It's a, Cause it's a lot of straight guys that like huh? women, but they got a, you know what I'm saying? That, that overly sensitive side. You just be like, what the fuck? I love you. Well, that, I love you too. I ain't got that. I'm straight. I'm straight. I know. I'm I'm so 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 I call me um, an hour. We're going to come back and listen to that again, y'all. I hope um, that you all will kick it with me later. I will be back. It'll be closer to around uh, 9 o'clock, unfortunately. Um, but I got to run. I, I love y'all to pieces. Thank you to everybody who super chatted me today on today. Uh, Miss Buckeye 99. Hello, GC. Uh, Poetic Diva. Shelly C. Uh, we all have T, Thomas Thomas, Vic to the Veil, and welcome again as a member for one month. Miss HLS says, I can't stand this hard looking. <laughs> I think this is where we're going to end. I love it. Now, look, I want you, I hope y'all can come back. I hope, you know, I, I hope y'all come back and kick it with me because we need to finish talking about this, get through the other video. Um, and and uh, I want to maybe dig into that Sonya interview, honey. We're going to go all in, all in. OK, with that said, I will holler at y'all later. Thank you for everybody who came out and hung out in the chat. And also thank y'all for being good because I my moderators, you know, look, it's Saturday. Uh, and, and, you know, people have things to do, you know, so it's a beautiful thing when I can still go live and you all will be kind and moderate one another. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love my moderators. They always ride for me. And so when they are available, you know, they're here. Okay. And again, I didn't give them any notice. It's really on me. But with that said, I appreciate all of you who gave the click, the view, the love, a comment, a kissy lips in the chat. I love it all. I will see y'all tonight at nine and I hope you will be here with me too. Okay. Until then, mm, smooches.